you're in a belly burn challenge or you want to join a belly burn challenge, but you're worried because you're gonna be going away for a couple days to the cabin or maybe you're going for a week to some sort of warm vacation, whatever it is, I'm gonna tell you right now, don't worry, we're gonna make it happen. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you on how we're gonna make it happen so that you continuously lose weight, shred fat, build muscle, even while you're away. Now before I go on guys, give the video a like, make sure you hit the subscribe button and post down below if you've done a challenge and you went away and you've gotten great results. So number one is that if it's only for a few days, don't worry about that because you can get access to our virtuals or if you're booking a hotel, make sure that you're booking a hotel that you have access to a gym or that there's a gym that you can go to and pay a drop in nearby because at the very least, if you can't control your eating, you can control your workouts and you can find a time to make it work as long as it's convenient with you. Number two is that you need to bring your powders and your supplements with you because if you have access to clean and healthy things, so for instance, when I travel, I always bring my travel blender and I always bring my greens powder, which weigh virtually nothing. And then when we land, we're gonna hit up some sort of grocery store anyways. And so what I do is I buy a big bag of spinach and every morning I blend in some ice, some water, my greens and the spinach. So at the very least, when we go out for burgers and fries, I've already had my salad for the day. Now, if you're gonna go to a restaurant while you're on vacation, then the best thing that you can do is go look at their menu, right? Most restaurants have some sort of online menu that you can go and select what you plan to eat. So if you know how to use your tracker, which in a belly burn challenge we're going to teach you how to do anyways, then you'll know what to plug in there and then you'll know how many calories that you have left for the day. Also, you'll know how many grams of protein that you need to eat based on the goals that your coach sends for you. So if it's only for a few days, no problem. Get virtuals, book a gym, bring your powders, or if you go to a restaurant, then pre-plan your food. And if you're going away to an all-inclusive trip and you wanna make the most of it, that's okay. So the same tips are going to apply that I've already mentioned to you. But instead of actually tracking your food or going onto their menus, which they won't have and they won't have the, the calories and macros and all that, then what you need to do, start doing is start eyeballing your food portions and then you need to plug them into your food tracker. And it's okay if you go over your budget because we could go very low calories for the first three days prior to you leaving or we can make up for that surplus when you get back. But either way, we're going to find a way to create balance. You could also go extreme activity. Like I've had clients that were going away for a seven day trip and we've put them on to a lower calorie budget, high protein, and then they worked out instead of doing one or two workouts a day, they went to two to three workouts plus maybe an extra run or an extra round of golf. And when they came back, they hauled ass and they still got crazy good results. But either way, going on a trip short or long term isn't the reason for you not jumping into a challenge. And why? Because us as coaches are going to make it happen for you. So there we have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're going away, make sure you got access to a gym. Bring your powders and your supplements. Push yourself prior to the trip. Push yourself after the trip and continue to get those crazy good results. I'm Coach RJ. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.